Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video if you have any BMW that overheats. We'll share guys the top five reasons that we see here at the shop for BMW to overheat. At least those are the top five most common ones that we observe here at the garage guys. So stay with us and we'll explain uh, what we're talking about. And one of those things most of you will probably never even think about. So make sure you stay until the end and we'll explain about that one as well. Now, if you guys need to buy any parts, tools, anything like that for your BMW or even other car, you can check out the link in the description of the video below and you can see where we get all our tools and parts from. Another thing, every single car that we get at the shop, we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos. Why? Because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need guys in return, please subscribe to your channel, like the video, that way we can keep providing this free information to you. So, let me explain, okay, what we have here now. Uh, this uh, BMW guys, okay, it's a 3 series BMW, but doesn't matter if you have a 3, 5, uh, 6, 7 series guys, if you have X1, X3, X5, Z4, it will relate to any BMW with any ga gasoline or diesel engine, 4, 6 cylinder, 8 cylinder engines as well. Now, uh, something guys, okay, that we see quite often here at the shop, okay. Some people will never check their coolant level. You will even get a light that says add coolant, but in some cases your sensor may be malfunctioning. You have a sensor that detects how much coolant you have. Some people bypass those or in other cases it will be stuck in some cases and you will guys need to check your coolant level. Okay, this is uh, most of the times something simple as not having enough coolant. Okay, that can cause your BMW to overheat. But there is another thing that relates to that and I'll share that towards the end, something that most of you don't think about. Usually on your overflow tank on your BMW, it will explain how much coolant you need to add and where the level should be. Okay, and never open the coolant reservoir when the engine is hot because it can severely burn you and damage you guys. So, uh, hurt you. So be very, very careful. Now, something else that we see quite often, radiator fan not working correctly. If your radiator fan is not working correctly, what will happen? Your car will overheat sooner or later. What can cause a fan not to work? Pretty simple. The fan motor can burn. The controller for the fan may be bad. You may have bad fuse or bad relay. We have a video on the channel that explains how to test the fan also. Every time guys you work around the fan, disconnect the car battery because if that fan turns on, it will take your fingers off. So you don't want that to happen. Also on BMWs guys and modern cars nowadays, it really matters guys, okay, which battery terminal you disconnect first, positive or negative. Because if you disconnect and reconnect the wrong one, you can cause damage to the electrical system, engine computers, modules, and that could be really expensive. One time it cost us $2,000 guys. So number two, fan guys, check the fan. What about number three, thermostat? Thermostat that's malfunctioning, not working correctly, can make your BMW uh, overheat and especially higher mileage BMWs guys, thermostats, I notice uh, I usually replace them myself about 80,000 to 100,000 miles at the latest. And uh, uh, sometimes they're really complicated to replace, sometimes they're easy, but there is a certain procedure that you need to follow when you replace the thermostat and I'll talk about that in just a little bit. Another thing guys, water pump failing water pump. Many BMWs nowadays come with electric water pump. If that, if that pump fails, yeah, it will not circulate the coolant and your car will overheat. Especially if you have a higher mileage car, that happens quite often. If you have the electric water pump, we have a video that explains how to test it. So check it out, we have it on the channel. Now, if you guys overheated your car even one time, and you overheated it severely, you can cause damage to your head gasket and that can cause your car to overheat in the future even if you replaced everything else because when you damage the head gasket, okay, your car will start overheating. So we have a special video that explains the symptoms of bad head gasket and uh, how to recognize if you have a bad head gasket. But one of the most common things that we see here at the shop after you guys, let's say, replaced coolant tank or you replaced thermostat, water pump, coolant temperature sensor like that one here, anything like that, okay, people forget or don't know how to properly bleed the cooling system on your BMW. Every BMW, okay, you have to bleed the cooling system. We'll put a video, guys, how to do it. 
uh, on the channel. I'll, I'll try to put the link in the description of the video below. It will explain how to uh, bleed the cooling system and uh, it will apply to multiple BMWs, not all of them, but to most of them. And it will explain what needs to be done because not bleeding the cooling system will cause you to have air pockets in the cylinder head and that will result into overheating. So you don't want that to happen because you can severely damage your car and you may end up needing even a new engine or your engine completely rebuilt. So those are the top five, maybe I even said six guys today, reasons that we see here at the shop for a BMW to overheat. If you have any questions, let us know. Hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.